In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you two methods to create freeze frames that you use in your projects. The first method is where you take your video clip and place it on one of your timelines. And then all you need to do is move your playhead to the frame where you want the freeze action to begin. And then you right click on that video clip and from the pop-up menu we're going to pick edit video and then we're going to choose the option that says freeze frame that will take a snapshot of that particular frame and you notice it placed it in the media room in the upper left it also placed it on the timeline now what controls the duration of the freeze as the default that's tied to your object settings because the freeze frame is a graphic image. I click on my settings option in the upper part and click on the editing menu. I see that my image file duration is set to five seconds. So that's what determines the default length of my freeze and we can change it. There's another setting here that applies to using this technique and it's the one that says add an effect and title when using freeze frames. We have another tutorial that will have a card that will link to it that gives you much more information about this technique and using this particular effect as well. But in this overview of the first one, we're not going to go there. The other thing you can easily do once you have your freeze frame on the video track is you can change the duration by highlighting it. You're clicking on the image and then you click on the clock icon above the timelines and you can change it to whatever duration you want. Let's say we want to freeze for three seconds instead of five, and you notice it will shorten it and change the frame and the ones to the right of it on your timeline. So if I play using this particular technique, I find I have my beach scene, it freezes for three seconds and then resumes. So that's the way to do that. And we'd like to look at a different option that gives you a little more variety. I'm going to delete all that on the timeline. I'll delete my additional object there. And in the media room, we're going to use method number two. Method two, you have to start in the media room. You do not put your media to start with on the timeline. Once I, ha once I have it highlighted in the media room, I simply click on the plugins menu at the very top and choose Action Camera Center. When I'm in the Action Camera Center, I see that I have two tabs in the upper left. I have a Fixed tab and I have an Effect tab. I want to be on the Effect tab. And in the Effect tab, I have two primary subcategories. I have a Time Shift effect and a Freeze Frame effect. I can add a Freeze Frame either by looking at the menu in the upper left quadrant and click on add freeze frame or I can use the button that's above the timeline. Once again you need to move to the place where you want to add the freeze frame. I can either click on my playhead down at the very bottom or I can click on the playhead below the preview screen to get to that particular frame and I see with that my time code I can see exactly where I am in my project. So let's move about in the center. Now the other thing you can do when you're here is you can magnify it by using the slider that, that moves to the right and left just above the preview area. And so you can magnify the number of frames that you see. Or if you want to reset it to fit the width of your screen, simply click here on this icon that will reset it so you see the entire clip in the area below. So we're going to add a freeze frame. Now I can click on either button as I mentioned before and we have a duration coming up. I'll click here and now I have a freeze frame. It's marked by a yellow diamond. Now the duration of the freeze right now starts at one second. So if I move to the left and play I'll have motion and then it'll freeze for a second and resume. To change the duration all I need to do is click on the yellow diamond and I can change the duration by typing in a new number or using the up and down arrow. Let's do a three second and we'll apply that to our freeze frame here. And now it will play. And though I don't see it different on the screen, it will freeze for the three seconds. 
So I have to look at the information I have here. Now you can use multiple freeze frames on the same clip. If I click here, I can add another one and I can make this a two second delay on the same clip very easily. And now when we play both of these, I'll play and we'll see we'll have a three second freeze frame. One, two, three, and then we'll, it'll continue. And now I'll have a two second freeze, one, to and continue. To remove a freeze frame all you need to do is highlight it and click on the garbage can at the top and that will remove the freeze frame. There's another nice feature that you have when you're working on a freeze frame that you don't have using the first method we showed and that is that you can also create a zoom effect. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to click the button here apply zoom effect with my freeze frame selected and I'll tighten it up here to make it more dramatic and now we have a three second delay let's see what happens when we do a zoom we'll play this it zooms in and zooms out now this does not give you the ability to zoom in and stay at the same level because it needs to be at the same uh, ratio and location when the freeze is over as when it started. So it will split the time half and half, zooming in and zooming out. But if that's a little radical for you to have it zoom in and out so quickly, if that's rather annoying, I find that that case, the simple thing I found to do to make it seem a lot more fluid is you simply increase the duration because you do have motion you can take as much time, I'll take eight seconds now to zoom in and zoom out, and it will seem much more fluid even though it's frozen. There is camera motion because I'm zooming. So there's a soft zoom in and a soft zoom out. It's a little abrupt in the middle, but it's a much smoother look. There's another nice thing you can do using this method. I'm going to click back on my freeze frame, and in this case, I'm going to rotate it so you can actually take the rotation and turn it slightly and so it will zoom and rotate at the same time which gives a really nice effect so I'll click on it and we'll play it I was zooming in and slightly rotating and then it rotates and zooms in reverse and then continues as normal now when you have this done to your satisfaction you click on the OK button in the lower right corner and what it will do now is it will take that modified section. You notice you have an interesting icon that says Action Camera Clip. And it will put it on the timeline. Now it will put it on the timeline wherever your timeline marker happens to be. So make sure your marker is positioned where you want it or you'll have to move it. Or if you split a clip with it, you'll have to be careful there. Now what if you, you're, you're playing this with other clips and you want to edit it? You don't go into the Action Camera Center. You can simply click on it, double click on it, and it will load up the Action Camera Center. You go back into the same screen you had before, and you can make some modifications. Let's say you want it to be uh, six seconds long instead of eight, and you click on OK, and now you've modified the time of the, the freeze in this particular clip. It still has all the same features it had before, and so you're able to make those modifications right on the timeline by double-clicking on it. It takes you to the Action Camera Center. So those are the two ways in which you can apply a freeze frame effect for your clips in CyberLink PowerDirector.